Welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at another problem that uses the ideas of marginal analysis. So let's read it together. It says, assume that the demand function for tuna in a small coastal town is given by this formula. P equals 60 over Q to the 0.5, where the Q needs to be between 200 and 800. Now before we keep reading, one thing I want to point out is notice how we're given our formula, our demand function, differently than we're used to. Usually we see Q equals in terms of P, but this one is P in terms of Q. But it's the same idea. Here P is the price in dollars per pound of tuna, and Q is the number of pounds of tuna that can be sold at price P in one month. So. The fact that we have Q is between 200 and 800, that tells us that we know that they're going to sell at least 200, but less than or equal to 800 pounds of tuna in a month. Okay, so part A, calculate the price that the town's fishery could charge for the tuna in order to produce a demand of 400 pounds. Okay, so the demand is supposed to be 400 pounds, and remember the, um, for pounds of tuna, that goes with variable Q. So that tells us Q equals 400. And our goal here is to figure out the price. So we want to know what is the value of P. Well, all we need to do is plug it in. So we have 60 over 400 to an exponent of 0.5. Whoops, went off my screen a little here. So we have P equals 60 over 400 to the 0.5, and I would just plug that into my calculator, and I get 3. Okay, so now what are the units on this P? Well, if we look back up here, it says P is the price in dollars per pound of tuna. So this tells us that our price is $3 per pound. So if the cost or the price for the tuna is three dollars per pound the demand will be four hundred pounds okay so let's move on to part B so it says calculate the monthly revenue R as a function of the number of pounds of tuna Q now remember from the pr original statement we had P equals 60 over Q to the 0.5 Okay, so our re revenue is P times Q, and they tell us that they want it to be in terms of Q. So I'm going to take this formula here and plug it in for my P. So I'm going to have revenue equals 60 over Q to the 0.5 times Q. Now here, this exponent on this Q is really a 1, right? And so in order to combine those two Qs, you're going to subtract those exponents. So we're going to have 60 times Q to the 1 minus 0.5, so that's going to be 0.5. Okay, so we've completed part B. Let's move on to part C. It says calculate the revenue and marginal revenue at a demand level of 400 pounds per month. Now remember, marginal revenue is just the derivative of the revenue function. Okay, so first let's do our revenue. So if Q is 400, then our revenue is going to be 60 times 400 to the 0.5. So that's going to be 1,200. Now what are the units on this revenue? Well, remember the price is dollars per pound. The quantity is pounds. So this is just going to be dollars. So when 400 pounds of tuna are sold at a price of $3 per pound, the revenue is $1,200. And another way to think about that is, well, 400 pounds of tuna, $3 per pound, 3 times 400 is 1,200. Okay, now we are supposed to calculate the marginal revenue. So let's first calculate the marginal revenue function. So R prime of Q 
we're going to take the derivative of our revenue function. So our revenue function, remember, is 60 times q to the 0.5. So if we take the derivative of this function, we're going to have 60 times 0.5 q to the negative 0.5. So that gives us 30 q to the negative 0.5. If we plug in 400, we get 30 times 400 to the negative 0.5. So that ends up being 1.5. Okay, now let's make sure we understand the units on this. So this is um, revenue is in dollars, so it's going to be dollars per, and then the units of our Q is pound. So it's going to be a dollar, we're going to write a dollar fifty per pound. Okay, so before we actually move on from this, let's make sure we can write a sentence that kind of interprets all that information. So let's start out with when the demand is 400 pounds of tuna, um, and really that's at a price of $3 per pound. I'm going to leave that out of my sentence because I'm running out of room. The revenue is $1,200, and the revenue, it's increasing. at a rate of $1.50 per pound. So if they sell another pound of tuna, we're going to expect that the revenue is going to go up by $1.50. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next part, part D. Okay, so if the town's fisheries monthly tuna catch amounted to 400 pounds of tuna, and the price is set at the level in Part A, would you recommend that the fishery raise or lower the price of tuna in order to increase its revenue? Okay, so what we know so far is that, um, so suppose this is our revenue function, and here we have 400 pounds of tuna. So our revenue function has that when, um, at 400 pounds, our marginal revenue, or our rate of change of our revenue function, this is $1.50. So our revenue is increasing here. So our revenue is heading up when, our, when we sell 400 pounds of tuna. It could also be, in a different problem, not in this problem, but the other option is our revenue is going down. So this is actually the one that's happening, but this could also happen in a, a different problem. Okay, so if our revenue is on its way up, in order to increase the revenue, we want to go to the right here. We want to sell more tuna. Because if you want to increase the revenue, we're going to have to head to the right in order to um, make the revenue goes up, go up. Now, if it were this situation, in order to increase the revenue, see how our revenue is heading down here? We would have to head to the left. We would have to sell less tuna. Okay, well, in order to sell more tuna, we want to basically increase the demand, right? And if you remember from one of the first things that we learned in this course, in order to increase the demand, you have to lower the price. So you lower the price in order to increase the demand. If you want to decrease demand, you're going to raise the price. So in, if this were the situation, if our revenue was actually decreasing, we would want to um, lower the demand and raise the price. Okay, but we have 
our revenue, marginal revenue is positive, so we know that we're in this situation. So that's it for this problem. See you next time.